All right, Rick Grinnell uh, is with us now. Good to have you back on, sir. I want to play uh, Hakeem Jeffries, the minority leader, earlier today. House Democrats will defend President Biden today. We will defend President Biden tomorrow. We will defend President Biden next week. We will defend President Biden next month. We will defend President Biden next year. We will defend President Biden until the very end. Doesn't matter what they find. Doesn't matter if they actually find, you know, they can find evidence that uh, he killed 10 people. They're going to defend him till the end. I mean, it's uh, who, who says something like that? There's obviously some evidence here. They don't care what they find. The person who says that is a robot. They will <laughs> do the hand gestures and say what they need to say. I mean, come on. Yeah. That is so inauthentic, and I've got to believe that everybody outside of Washington, D.C. can see that. that that's like Gavin Newsom level inauthenticity. Uh, what we need, Rob, are uh, everyday Americans to, to not get frustrated, but to take to social media and to take to uh, all of the ways that they can get their message out. Uh, because he, here's the reality. What happens between Nancy Cordes and Corinne Jean-Pierre really doesn't matter anymore. That, that whole system is just for show. I've been in that room, and you've never seen more people that are cheerleaders for the ruling party. So uh, the rest of us outside of Washington, D.C., see exactly what's going on. Only those people inside that room think that they're fooling anyone. And so we have to be able to get our voices out there. And I think that's one of the reasons why, with social media, uh, originally before Elon Musk, Donald Trump was canceled from Twitter because he was getting his message out yeah. around the New York Times, around the Nancy Cordes's of the world. And so, you know, you here on uh, Newsmax, all of the shows that we have on Newsmax, uh, social media, if, if you're listening to, the, to us, you really have a lot more power than you think. You've got to take to all of your social media accounts and start talking and sharing these stories. Because I, I see the corruption. It's very clear. Very and if we had even an iota of the deep state, like the Democrats have, you would see a whole bunch of tax uh, reports leaked. Joe Biden's contracts would be leaked. There would be the deep state running wild because yeah. this is obviously something that is real. Yeah. You know, I, I disagree on, on one thing. I, I still, and, and, and it hurts me to say this, but I think there are millions of people in this country that still just get that, you know, establishment media that just say, well, you know, I, I keep hearing that it's not real, so, you know, it must not be real. And I think there's a lot of people that just aren't that invested. I, I want to move to just one more thing before I let you go. Um, they impeached Trump for, for sniffing around about Biden's very obvious corruption. And now we've arrived in this moment, and they're saying that Republicans are the ones cheapening impeachment. So when, when it finally comes for, I think, a real legitimate reason, now it's cheapened. Yeah, look, they're totally thin-skinned. They can't take it. Look how reporters react when uh, you criticize them. They block you. They freak out. Uh, this is a whole corrupt system in Washington, D.C. Look, I, I'm hearing from independents constantly. People are saying to me that they've never seen uh, Washington like it is right now. And what they want is a very tough bull in the China shop. I see independents saying, you know what? All of Trump's strengths are exactly what we need in Washington right now. Well said. Rick Grinnell, always good to have you on, sir. Thank you.